What's up guys? Are you tired of dying, raging, wanting to break your keyboard? I understand this frustration. So this video is about strategies to show you tips how to improve your gameplay and how to become a better player. So let's get it on. First of all, I got a double kill in the Gulag once again. At this moment, I had a high sense as I was in the chopper to try to move it faster. As I got off the chopper, sense was way too high and I died. And I, I went, top our neck! But you know what? It's okay. It's part of life. He actually died after how? Well, the plane blew up because the gas was moving and it just blew up and it got them both killed. There we go. Okay, let's get it on. So right over here, I'm getting shot from a few teams. So this is how you want to use a precision. There's a few ways to use it. I know there's a guy, there's a team behind me. I'm not too quite sure where. You just aim it anywhere quickly. And then I see someone like this, I shoot him, and I got another snipe kill right beside a second after. And like five kills right over there. But that's in another video. An old video that's already been posted. Right over here. I down one guy, I get a sick angle, I get a second one, obviously they're not aiming at me, so it's pretty easy, snipe another dude, and then I aim a precision right over here, so what happens with the precision is that if someone wants to revive their teammate, well most likely I'm going to get them in the crossfire, so that guarantees kills and that makes you not rush for kills, that's why I love precision for cluster strikes. You don't need to rush for your kills. Uh, that's essential in this game, especially you only have one life. It's a strategy game, you know? So now I see a snipe on the top right, a snipe on the left, throw two smoke, run. Team is saved. That's how you do it. Yeah, that was amazing. Damn, I guess I did it. Dude, you saved our life. You saved our life. Fuck. No, right over here. Oh, yeah, this is like uh, one of my favorite mode, armor quads. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sick mode, uh, especially if you're not the most skilled uh, player. I mean, you could be uh, on a turret or you can be driving the truck. Over here, I threw a grenade and a smoke just in case there was people up there. They wouldn't see me coming up. And throwing the grenade put him down again. Over here, you want to be um, really good using lethals and smokes because you saw how I threw it. I came up. Nobody knew I was there. It gave me protection as I was coming up. So using smokes is really good when you want to relocate or if you're playing solo and especially if you're in the open. So use your smoke. You could just disappear and then you just relocate. Here I'm going to pre-fire a bit. Boom. Pre-fire here. I love this gun. The Florentine I think it's called. God damn. What do you guys think? I I think this gun, this gun is so good. But there's there's so many guns. I think they're... It's hard to tell which one's good, which one isn't. I think they're all great guns. Obviously not all, but I mean. Right over here, I was going to reload. But you don't want to reload in front of someone, so you just punch him out. Now over here, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy triple kill. I mean, I'm not super used to using the AK, the silencer, but... I did a really good job. Just shooting through his tents, crack his armor. He doesn't know from where it's coming. Keep shooting, down him, keep shooting. Obviously, I'm gonna relocate. You always wanna relocate. Crack his boy. Someone downed him. I can't picture if I would've got that down, I would've gave me a quad kill. But over here, I rushed to Digo. Boom, boom. I had one quad kill, and for some reason it didn't record. It's kind of frustrating. There we go. Now, this is another strategy people need to know. If you're going up on a roof, or you're getting outside a room that you don't know what's up there. You don't know if there's someone on the roof. You don't know if there's someone on the left. You don't know if there's someone on the right. You know, if one of your teammates pushes, wait a few seconds. You see where the gunshots are, then you move out. That's the way to do it. Now over here... Um, I see two teams engaging. I put that ninja thing on. You don't shoot, and I just follow him. He didn't even see me. 
Like his first reflex was just to go revive his teammate. Most people don't know. But you shouldn't go for a box if someone's coming for you. You won't have time to pop the box, pick the gun, turn around and shoot him. If it's a skilled player, he's just going to destroy you. Even an ordinary player is going to destroy you. Just don't go for the box, especially not if someone's coming from behind. See right over here, I saw, I don't know if we saw any sequence, but I, I knew there was someone in the building. I went around looking for a window. I cracked the window. Obviously, this guy is a total noob. I mean, I cracked the window and... But I, at that moment, I did something that kind of confused him. I don't remember who it was. Over here, you want to use the right cover camouflage. Even a rock is super good. If you're uh, able to just circle around and go down like this. I mean, uh, I was there for like a minute or two. I edited it, but uh, they couldn't kill me. They had the truck and stuff, obviously. Um, and they weren't the best players once again. But uh, yeah, it makes a big difference just using the right camouflage, the right cover. And like just right over here, how I'm actually going to survive and kill his teammate is priceless. Like, look at my health right over here. Boom. I just don't move. Use that, that bush. Boom, he's dead. I mean, it's, it's, it's a quick game. And uh, just make one mistake and you're dead. So you just got to make sure you play like you got one. Live. Yes, yes. Right over here, use your lethal on the left, cover the right, and kaput. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, it looks easy. It's just using the right strategies, you know. Once again, 